Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a high-end luxury travel trailer that's built more like a fifth wheel. This is a 2022 Primetime LaCrosse Model 3411RK Rear Kitchen. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the LaCrosse and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be taking a look at a primetime lacrosse. We haven't seen one of these in a very long time, so I'm excited to be reviewing them again. But before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. Windy day here in Georgia, but um, we are using a new little microphone system, so hopefully it's coming out a little better. Yes, and Will, why would somebody want a travel trailer built like a fifth wheel? Why don't they just get a fifth wheel? Well, sometimes it is very nice to have the bed of your truck cleaned out. I love it. Here, you know, you can load up a small golf cart or whatever you need back there. Bikes, yeah. everything. Storage, um, luggage crates, whatever you need. Yeah. Will, let's get started. Oh. And we're at Mid-State RV. Yes. Model is Primetime Lacrosse 3411 RK. The actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this travel trailer is 38 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 8,602 pounds and the hitch weight is 1,045 pounds. Pretty heavy. Always remember, use weight distribution bar. Power tongue jack right up here, Will. Propane tanks go here, and then here's where your battery is. Yeah. Big shout out to Mid-State. They know how to set you up with a jump box. That's right. Am I right? That yeah. sucker will blow us up if we touch it wrong. <laughs> right here, look at this angled out, this uh, protruding fiberglass front cap. Right. Looks a little weird, truthfully. It's not sleek. It's not... It is a little aerodynamic, but it looks weird. Stick it out. Yeah. But once we're on the inside, you're going to see how much of an awesome benefit that is. Okay. Man, isn't that a front windshield? It is, I believe. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, there there it is. Front windshield as well. They still got the lacrosse and the LED lights. Coming on down the side here. Is prepped for the Furion side marker lights. Also prepped in the rear for a Furion rear camera. Okay. Not a ton of storage right here. No, not at all. Not impressed at all, but again, wait, just wait. Because again, you don't necessarily need a ton of storage here because you do got the bed of your truck. Right. And once you see what happens on the inside, you'll like it. Okay. Lippard power stabilizing jacks. We love that. Right here, we do got a D-ring for you to leash up your pet. Okay. Coming on down the side here, TV bracket, coax and power. If you do want to have a TV outside, very nice power awning with LED lights and speakers coming on down the side here will we do have nice solid steps right here okay. to get in and out of the travel trailer right here is another place for you to leash up your pet and there's also psh, america one more time but a little different psh, georgia. georgia yes sir hey we didn't even practice that <laughs> i wanted to see if will would get it beer opener right as you get inside the uh, travel trailer. Bulldogs national champs. <laughs> okay, check this out. External bonded construction. Extended season thermal package. Good four seasons unit. TST tire pressure monitoring system. Because it's a prime time, but it's still a division off Forest River. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the trailer kings. I love those. ST225 75 R15. Very nice. And then coming on down the side here. We do got a nice bumper first. Thank you, Slinky. Dang nabbit, Will. No ladder oh, wow. to get up on the roof. There's the Furion backup camera prep. Spare tire, spare tire carrier right here. And Will, yeah. I think even if it did have a ladder. It'd uh, be too high, Yeah, probably. I wouldn't be able to climb it. And then finishing up. Right here's your water heater. Right there's the uh, dump station right there. 50 amp service, trust me guys, this unit will have two AC units on the roof. All right. And then coming on down the side here, there's another dump. That's your sewer. Okay. There. Then here's a front bedroom slide. Okay. So this is storage that you don't normally get. Right. But the uh, slide out 
it, the bed's on a slide out. And then here's some of your water components and everything. Well, well, the outside of lacrosse looks great, but it is the inside that looks absolutely fantastic. Let's go, take a look. All right. Lippert SS, Lippert solid steps, very nice. All right, starting up front. Nice bedroom up here. Mid bathroom pass through here. <coughs> Living area, kitchen, and dining area right here. Now, Will. Yeah. Come on outside real quick for a second. Okay. Before we show everybody the inside, I want to let everybody know that this episode is sponsored by Lippert. Okay. Lippert makes these Solid Steps XF. These are the new ones. We'll link it down below. But Will so great about this you don't need to buy a new travel trailer to get these if you don't have solid steps on your current travel trailer all you gotta do is go to lippert.com measure out the distance to get the right one what's so nice about these is that they flip up and they lock in because of this you now don't have those crappy aluminum steps or even worse those crappy black steps they have sizes for everybody in every travel trailer and once you get to where you're going you just push this down and then if you're heavier like me and will look at this walking in it's firm it's a solid step thank you so much for lipper for sponsoring this episode let's go on the inside all there. right well we're starting in the back okay and that's your attack sounds good here we go now We'll start right over here. You got kind of a little pantry area right here. Nice ever chill refrigerator. Mm hmm. Why is it not? There we go. There's that TSD monitoring system. Very nice. Freezer down below. Yes, sir. Over here, right around the microwave. Plenty of storage. Okay. Nice Furion regular microwave there. Very nice. Good little backsplash where you're cooking. I really like this. Yes. This is just a three burner cooktop, but the way it is, it looks really nice. I think it's a little roomier when you're cooking. For sure. Just looks nice with the Furion oven below. And that's definitely a little bigger too. Yeah, for sure. Right over here, we got some storage. Okay. Nice window here on your non-camping side. Pretty good amount of counter space, solid surface. Will. And this is in your traditional color. Yes, I was about nice. to say, something looks a little different in here. Yeah. Couple drawers. Right Very there. Nice. Some more storage up top here. You got this nice little peninsula right there. Single bowl sink with a spray faucet. Mm -hmm. You have your little rinse thing. And storage right there. Yes, sir. Well, and then over here, oh, we have like a unique living area, okay? TV, sound system, fireplace, the entertainment center's all right here. Yeah. And it's kind of adjacent. So nobody has a good view, but nobody has a bad view. Right. They're both good views. Oh, yeah. Let me rephrase that. Nobody has a perfect view. Right. They're both kind of turning their head sideways, but everybody has a good seat. Before we go over there, let's talk about these table and chairs. What's the one thing you notice about this slide out, Will? It's big. It's what deep. about it? Nope, nope. I'm going somewhere else with it. Positive or negative? Positive. Oh, the windows. Yes. Yeah. Big windows. I love that about lacrosse. Yeah. Lacrosse is notorious for doing these big, almost full wall windows. I love that. Nice dinette, big boy tested, big boy approved on this side. Well, nobody even needs to sit in that Right, seat. so much room there. Exactly, nice table and chairs, nice light sconce. Uh, you do have these uh, crummy blinds right here, but hey, not everything can be a winner. And uh, really, really nice. <clears throat> and then over here, the Allure Collection. Seems like almost all of Forest River is going to this. Right. Um, really nice cup holders, USB lights up. These do recline. Nice, again, big windows, guys. You can't pay, like, we have the jump box on. This was probably one of the only units we didn't even need the I jump know. box on. Yeah, you're right. You know, the light wood and everything just makes it really reflective. Well, there's a oh. thing right there as well. There you go. Same thing, actually. It's just Got access it. on both sides. And then over here is a sofa first and foremost we do got storage above the sofa nice light cabinetry okay, okay. really good um mirror right there and then here kind of a weird couch dude, or every couch guys right. every couch has been a little different 
here at Mid State. We're here at Mid State, Georgia Bulldogs. Oh, oh that's okay. just a pull out. You know what, Will? You gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. See, that's actually probably not a terrible mattress. Well, maybe it is. Oh, yeah. Not it's good. comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. Like, it looked good at first, but... Well, at the end of the day, this is for that non-paying customer. Mm -hmm. This is for your kid's friend. This is for your kids. This is for your mother-in-law. This is for somebody that you love, but you don't like. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Right? That's why you've been sleeping on our couch. Dang. <laughs> that was a mistake last night. Yeah, you tired today? Uh, I'm, I'm good, but just today's a big filming day for us, and yeah, I should have stayed at a hotel. Or in one of these RVs. Right? They were unlocked, Will. <laughs> I was thinking about that river stone. Right? That would have been funny. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. And Will. Yeah? I did say this was a travel trailer built like a fifth wheel. Do you know what that means? It's going to be priced like a fifth wheel too. <laughs> yes. Will, you're picking up what I'm putting down today. That's funny. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $72,000. MSRP. Yes, sir. Here's the good thing. Mid-State RV is one of our RVR partners, and they have a huge discount, over $13,000 off, which is insane in this market, Will, to $59,403 sale price. That's pretty good. And, Will, people know <coughs> we're here at Mid-State RV. Sorry. It's okay. We're here at Mid-State RV, and we are partnered with RVR. If you guys are interested in this unit, click the link down below. Go to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab, guys. We're going to hook you up with the closest RVR partner that sells the brand that you're looking for to you. Let's say it is Mid-State RV. We're going to connect you with them. Not only are they going to give you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry, but because you watch Matt's RV reviews, they're going to get you an even better price than the sale price, guys. So if you're interested in it, go to our website. Check it out. But before you're ready to buy this unit, Will, we got to check out the bedroom and bathroom. That's right. So check out this awesome mid bathroom. Okay. There is a step up, but we might be okay. Yeah. Even with wow. the step up, there's actually really good head height because of it's all about the placement of the skylight. That's what it's all about, trailers. man. Yeah. Good width, good depth. Yeah, it's really good. Definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. Right over here. We do got wow. Wash your dryer prep. I Huge storage that. too. Very nice. Stackable and not only not not washer dryer prep. Well, stackable. Yes. And a travel trailer. Nice medicine cabinet for all your medicines. Uh, not big sink area. Yeah. Man, see this bathroom's bigger than your bathroom. It is probably yeah. No, definitely for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and then um this toilet. I mean, oh my gosh. Hey, Tom Zachary. <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! Shout outs. What's going on? I mean, you guys killed it with this bathroom. This yeah, is they did. absolutely fantastic, and I love it. And, um, but even more impressive is what is 180 degrees behind you, Will. Okay. That, this bad bedroom is on freaking believable. No, no, Will, let's switch sides. Okay. Because you, you got to see this. You got to yeah. get the whole effect of this. Huge bedroom in here. Look right. at this. King size bed on the slide out. You don't see this much on travel. You don't. Trips. Good headboards. Nice windows there. Storage underneath. Nice. Up here. Huge wardrobe space right. here. Right. And well, storage here. Huge wardrobe space here. Remember how outside we were talking about how weird it kind of looks? In, in the front area. Yeah. That's because you got this. Right. It's worth it. You have a sitting place. You have a place to sit down and put your shoes on. Yep. You know what I'm saying? This is, 
you have like a little day area. Let's say you do have guests and you just want to, you, you just know, need your space or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. really nice. I love that. And then right over there, well, to wrap up the bedroom, we got a little countertop here, nice drawers, a fireplace in the bedroom. Are you kidding me? Right. That's awesome. Storage there, storage there. And just overall, again, guys, an awesome travel trailer built like a fifth wheel. Now, before everybody leaves, before you sign off, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about the lacrosse and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do you want to do first? Three things we like. Okay. First thing, Will. Yeah. The entire bedroom. It's amazing. Look at this. King bed, slide out, windows, storage. Seating area, front windshield. I mean, it's almost like we designed it ourselves. Right. Which we didn't, but it's almost like we did. That is number one. Will, number two? Right here. Yes, sir. I mean, this is the next best thing in it. Plenty of shower space, great toilet placement, great sink. There's room to get in here, get tried off, get dressed. It's great. I love it. That's number two. And then, Will, going out there. Okay. Because number three is out here. You know what it is? What? The windows. Yeah. The windows in here. So the, bright in here. The light color wood. If I turn the lights off and you wouldn't even notice. Half the lights weren't even on on this video. Yeah. Though. The huge windows. I mean, natural light is the hardest thing to obtain in an RV. And there's no doubt about it. Primetime has achieved it, mastered it, and checked it off the box for so many people. That's right. That's three things we love about it. Well, now it's time for three things we don't like about this unit. Would you like to go first or me? Um, I can go first. You go first. Want... I actually forgot my dislike. Mine's definitely going to be the outside storage. Ah, uh, so like yeah. Out there. Okay. Hi, Jen. Yeah, I wasn't to but you totally did. Oh, we missed you. In five minutes. Mm -hmm. So, dislike number two, Jen decided to visit us. Hi, guys. If you guys don't know, we're actually camping at the dealership. So she was walking the dogs. Yeah. And it's funny because Jen Jen interrupted, but because of that, I was able to take the time and remember my dislike. I triggered it for you. So Jen, dislike number two. Oh, and make sure you guys stick around because we're going to have a bonus like from Jen. But dislike number two for me was that this is a huge slide and there is no awning on this slide out. It did have the awning up front there, but no awning here. So that's definitely dislike number two. And then Jen, being in this travel trailer, tell us something that you don't like about it. Um, so what I'll say is I like the concept of a rear kitchen, but it does feel like a little bit tight because once like one person's standing in here, okay, you don't really like, Will couldn't come and like, I mean, you wouldn't have much room to come and like do anything else in the kitchen. Whereas if you have like an island, you can kind of work, have two people working around it. So and once like, you're in it, it's a little tight. Love that perspective. Yeah, and look at like the oven behind you, like when you're trying to work in there. And right, like imagine. Open um, the oven door. Like, in a, well, no, in ours you can't cook and wash dishes. But yeah, it's just like once you're in here, it just feels like a one person zone and you can't really like do much else. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's three things we like and three things we don't like. But now it's time for that bonus like. Jen, give us something that you love about this unit. Well, I don't know what your likes were. It doesn't matter. It's a bonus like. Okay. My like, you probably made your like, but we'll go back here. My like has to be. I'm gonna do a combo. My like. Is whoa, 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 whoa! So you just a think combo you can? Bonus. No, you think you can just come into the <laughs> video and just do a combo? Okay, go. So my like is that you get this. Oh, I'm gonna do a triple. Jeez. <laughs> I like how you get this front seating area because yep. I would love having this with our dogs so they can sleep here and we have the whole bed to ourselves. I love that they do the front windshield so you have more natural light coming in. And my third <laughs> was like, is that you have a fireplace in the bedroom. That's really cool. Yes, ma'am. And I wish we had one. And well, uh, and Jen, I am proud to announce that yes, that was our likes as well. Nice. Because it is definitely the best feature to have in the lacrosse. Well, Will, let's step out for a okay. second. There's Jen recording for the vlog. Will, stay right there. Well, Will and Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Jen, thank you so much for joining us yeah. with the dogs. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this RV, guys, again, we are part of RV Retailer, Mid-State RV. All you got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click the contact tab. Doesn't matter where you live or what you're looking to buy, 
we're going to get you with a member of our team and we're going to get you a great deal, great price and the best RV buying experience and we're going to help you get a better sale price than the sale price we told you earlier in the video. Will, Jen, anything you want to say? Yeah, thank you for watching and thanks for letting me make a little guest appearance. Um, also, I will um, let you guys know I'm, I am like blogging this whole time here, staying at Mid-State. And I'm also, I documented our whole experience with um, our first time getting our RV service, which I know a lot of people have been um, wanting to see what that experience is like. So that video might be coming around, out around the same time this does. Right. Um, but anyways, we'll link the, our blog down below so that if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go check it out. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, like Jen said, what? Oh, keep going. <laughs> right. <clears throat> like Jen said when she first came in, she was like, man, these lacrosses are so nice. Where where have we been with them? And, you know, truthfully, it, we don't have a lot of them in the markets we're typically in, which, again, is why we're here. Um, but she's right. They're really, really nice in interiors, really good build quality and everything. So yep. we're glad to be here. Thank you um, guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Will, Jen, we'll see you next time.